COVID-19 has become a worldwide pandemic over the past year. It's been over 100 years since this many people have been affected by a pandemic. Nurse Miguel, who has been a nurse for 39 years, has three suggestions how students can stay safe from the coronavirus. There are three main things students can do to stay healthy. First and foremost, wash your hands. That I cannot emphasize enough. Wash your hands all the time and make sure you wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat or the Happy Birthday Song or something in your head and definitely use soap. The second thing is when you cough or sneeze, cough or sneeze in your elbow. And if you've got a mask on, it won't always catch the cough and sneeze particles that contain any kind of a virus like flu or COVID. I mean, there are tons of viruses that can still go through a cough mask. The third thing is to maintain that six feet apart. I know it's hard when you're talking to friends and you're yelling at them from six feet apart, but it's really important to have that six feet so the virus has time to fall to the floor before it reaches you or the other people. And finally, stay healthy. Make sure to take vitamins, eat well, and get a good night's sleep every night. Stay healthy, raccoons, and have a great day. For RACC TV, I'm Rebecca Ake. The boys basketball team has been practicing every day after school since the beginning of the first semester. Thanks to an aggressive defense and rebounding skills, the team will go into playoffs with a 14-4 record next week. Well, one of our strengths all year long has been rebounding. Uh, in 26 games, we've out-rebounded our opponents by over, over 300 rebounds, according to my stats now. And so that's been one of our strengths all year long. I think definitely our offense and our rebounding because on our offensive side, I think everyone on the team is able to score pretty well on their own and as a team. And also our rebounding because our size isn't really matched by any other team in the district. Definitely rebounding as a team. Um, we have a lot of size, so obviously rebounding would be a strength for us. And also at certain points, our defense has been good. So I think those two would be our main. Throughout the season, you know, I think the team is really strong on, on, on the offensive side. You know, we have size at every position and we're really athletic, so we can really just go, go out and run and we can shoot the ball pretty well. So I say it's the offense. Just our overall depth, our, our strength, our size, our leadership, um, our willingness to, to play together and sacrifice for each other has been real big all year long. The team is made up of veteran players and one freshman. Being the only freshman on the varsity team speaks to his abilities. Well, being a freshman, of course, sometimes they tend to pick on me and call me like names like fish and stuff, but it, it, it's been fun. They've taken it pretty easy on me, to be honest. Most of the players have been playing hoops since elementary school and have a passion for the sport. Uh, just something clicking with this sport, it just makes me so happy. I have a lot of fun. I don't know really, it's just, it's just fun for me, I enjoy it. Due to COVID, only family members will be allowed to attend the first playoff game next week. Let's wish the team well as they blaze a trail towards state. For RACC TV, I'm Hannah Brennan. It's been almost a year since we've been wearing masks around others because of COVID. It's a relief when we get to step outside, get in the car, or go home and take these masks off. What has been your experience wearing masks over the past year? What's the biggest inconvenience about wearing a mask? I mostly get trouble with it like when I wear my glasses and stuff and then um, sometimes my mask will just fall off. I don't know why but it will so that's my biggest problem with it. I think maybe one of the biggest problems with the mask is communication. Uh, just being able to see people's faces. I'd say it, like it touches my lips so it's kind of hard for like people to understand me and it just kind of makes it a lot harder for me to hear people and for people to hear me. Uh, whenever I wear glasses, uh, they fog up, and then also masks, uh, my mask has caused me to break out. They fog up my glasses a lot. Um, my biggest, biggest problem would be um, like talking to people, because I, I can't really talk through my mask, and they can't hear me r really well. Whenever I chew gum, it like burns my eyes, like it comes up through here. And then also, whenever I talk, like it comes off my nose. And then, what's another one? Oh, it wipes off all my makeup too, and I don't appreciate that, you know? So, those are like my problems, yeah. People, because I... 
probably like the looks of it people look really different without their masks on this problem with my mask is it hurts my ears really bad and um another big problem is is it really preventing covid no and what's your uh probably trying to keep it over my nose that's, that would be the hardest part <laughs> clearly right now i can't even do it not being able to breathe going up the stairs um not being able to breathe today i probably have had to like repeat myself like five times because it's really hard to hear on these masks and also they're really hard to breathe in i can't understand anyone whenever they're talking and yeah what'd he say out of here We've learned that wearing masks can be a challenge. It's sometimes hard to understand others. It can be difficult to breathe, and it's certainly not fashionable, even though we try. We do it for our safety and the safety of others. Sooner or later, we'll be back to normal, and all of this will be behind us. Let's hope it's sooner. For RACC TV, I'm Justice Rigut. Good morning, fellow raccoons. Welcome to the Weekend Weather Watch. I'm Broccoli Mills. And I'm Brady Blissett. Hey, Brady. Did you watch the Super Bowl? Yeah, I can't lose Tom Brady and want another one. Hey, Brady, what's the difference between you and Tom Brady? Tell me, Brock. I think we're pretty similar. I mean, he is named after me. The only difference being about $260 million in net worth. Well, how much are you worth? Well, my bank account is drier than a hot desert. That's what I thought. Speaking of the weather, today is going to be cloudy with a high of 37 and a low of 25. Saturday will be cloudy again with a high of 28 and a low of 24. Sunday is going to be cloudy and cold with a high of 26 and a low of 10. Now that's cold. Brrr. Is it true that Monday is going to be a holiday? Yes, Brady. Again, we have a holiday. President's Day, and it's a federal holiday. Some fun President's Day trivia for you guys. At 42 years, 10 months, and 18 days old, Teddy Roosevelt was the youngest man to hold the office of President of the United States. Joe Biden is currently the oldest at 78 years old in 61 days. And John F. Kennedy was the youngest man to be elected president. So what's Monday's weather? Break out your ice skates because it's going to be snowy and icy day with a high of 21 and a low of 8. Talk about a case of the Mondays. So what's going on this weekend? First of all, congratulations to the boys varsity basketball team making it to the playoffs this year. They begin playing next week. The Varsity Girls Softball plays Sherman at Sherman tonight at 6.30. Also, Varsity Baseball teams are preparing for their seasons with some scrimmage games. Let's hope they knock it out of the park. And don't forget, when we come back on Tuesday the 16th, it will be an A-Day. Anything else, Brady? I'll spend my three-day week in catching up to those 260 million. It shouldn't take long. Have a fun and safe three-day weekend. See you Tuesday the 16th. Stay warm. For RACC-TV, I'm Broccoli Mills. And I'm Brady Blissett. Seven.